Okay, in this video we're going to show you how we created our new company mascot, Drumo. Uh, we'll start with the process of modelling Drumo and then we'll go through to the development of the final print. Here's a quick sketch I did of a concept of Drumo. Here's a simple turnaround of Drumo being created. Okay, so here's the final model. Um, he's been put together with uh, simple polygon modeling and been given a turbo smooth. Um, if we go inside the model, what we'll see is that we have some issues with uh, intersecting faces. Uh, this is where uh, a face will pass through one, sh one shape into another, and we'll need to get rid of these to make the model perfect for 3D printing. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do uh, to remove these uh, intersecting faces is we're gonna multiply the character three or four times over. And as you can see here, we want to get rid of the what would be his scalp line, because it will, we will not be seen through the helmet. So we'll go down to Compound Objects and Pro Boolean Tool and select Subtraction. And then using the Picking Tool, we're going to select the helmet. And as you can see, that gives us um, a nice clean edge of where the helmet will lie. And then we'll go in and remove these faces, like you can see here in the mouth. So we'll convert it back to an edible poly, select the polygon selection tool, and then we'll just erase those. And now we've got a nice clean line where the model can now intersect with the helmet. So again, if we do the same for the helmet, we'll subtract the body from the helmet and then remove the polygons from the inside of the helmet. And then we'll align that with the body of Dreamo. And that should give us a nice clean fit. Now the last one I'll do is the eyes and the mouth. So if we go to those, just to get rid of anything we don't need. So we'll select the eyes, and then we'll remove the body from the eyes. And if we go around the back, what we should see is the faces from the rear, and we'll get rid of those. And then again, we'll align it to the body of Dreamo. And there we go. Okay, so now we're going to export Dreamo out so that he's ready to go to the printer. So we'll go up to the main menu in Max and select export and then export non-native file. And then we'll go to save as and select the stereo lithio or STL file. And then we'll name our file, hit save and then select binary and hit OK. Here's a simple render of Dreamo from 3ds Max. Okay, so here's our final print of Drumo. I'm really happy with the way he turned out. Uh, the finish is fantastic. Um, this particular print was printed on the Zortrax M200, um, and it's not actually at its best setting. Um, as you can see, the definition on the text is great. We've got some nice, really crisp lines, and just an all-around really good finish. We're really happy with him. Okay, here's a half-scale version of Drumo. This one was printed on the Ultimaker 2. And as you can see, again, we've got really good definition on the text and an all around really good, nice, clean finish. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.